So we have oil coming up. I just want to take a quick look at the contract. Quite a run that we've had coming off of yesterday at $58. You get the August contract sitting at $59.44. I just wanted to take a peek at maybe some of the options that are available in here because now I don't know. this. Whenever these contracts move so far, Basil and Nadex, they reset these contracts, and we might be away from where um, these provide because realistically you'd want about $49.50 to be a contract that you'd have upward and downward exposure from where you're paying very little intrinsic value the tens of guns well are we looking what we're looking at what, crude oil or what, uh, yes crude oil the yes, august contract correct. we're sitting at 59.45 and correct, so yes. 59 so what did i say 49 excuse me 59.50 would be a price that would look for where you're right next to it and we've just moved so much so i had taken a peek at it you know you always have options in here that you'd be able to purchase but realistically, these price points, as in you'd have exposure either from $59 or $59.75. So you're just away from, you know, we've gotten such a move in oil. Uh, pretty remarkable, even $57.50 early yesterday. And it's we're a big move, yeah. Sitting at $59.50, and we'll get those inventories. We'll see that reaction in the market when Baz and I come back in three minutes, folks. Welcome back, folks. I'm Tommy O'Brien, joined by Basil Chapman this morning. We got markets higher across the board. S&B had peaked its head above 3,000, back under that level briefly. Jumping back to oil, and we'll get the numbers as they come in, Basil. I'm still trying to pull them up, but nonetheless, you're getting an acceleration to higher prices in crude as we're now at 59.77. Guessing we might have missed that a little bit to the downside in terms of the available supply in crude for inventories, and the market spiking a bit on those numbers as I look for them, and maybe we'll get them. Maybe they got them in the den, um, but either I'd way. I'd be interested because we've yeah, got a PC we'll at 60.28. I was wondering if it would go to 60.29 to make the D and then maybe pull back. Yeah, hey, it could do it, man. I mean, this is, um, and you had API, I'm not even sure we can pull those up as well, but it's been it's been nothing but upward action to the tune of almost $2, uh, 58 up to, we just, and it's pulling back a bit, but you got crude, 59.77 was the high, we're back right at 59.57. Jumping back to petroleum real quick, Basil, the number that came in was a, a draw of 9.5 million barrels. And the estimate was only for a draw of about 3 million barrels. I chuckle a little bit because oil, shaking that off and actually now lower. Now, there's a lot that goes into those numbers in terms of demand, refineries, util utilization. But nonetheless, we saw a draw of 9.5 million barrels for the week. The forecast was only draw three. And you're sitting right now at 